So coming in on number 20 is Tomb Raider. Yes, it just finally started number 20. I go for 20 through 11 and then 10 through 1. So number 20 is Tomb Raider. I'm excited for this film, you know. I really want this film to become a really good video game adaptation. I, this could be finally a, the, you know, the film to be really good. To be, well, to become a good at video game adaptation. It has it all, you know. It has a good cast, some good stuff, and some decent special effects. And, you know, it looks it looks good. I really liked it. Uh, yeah, I really like the tra I really like the trailer. I'm I'm very interested to see it. Um, hopefully, it's gonna be really good. I hopefully it it won't. I'm not saying it's gonna be great, but like just I just want a you know a good, decent, um, video game adaptations because you know video game adaptations are bad. I guess the only good one was Resident Evil, but that kind of ruined the rest that inspired when uh, Frozen Evil Four was inspired. Like it ruined everything. You know, I just I really hated it. But you know, well, actually, Warcraft is the best one. I really like Warcraft. But yeah, you know, this could be good. I can't wait. So coming in at number nineteen is How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the animated version. Now. I first heard about this film, like, very recently, like, I believe it was back, like, this, I saw, like, a poster for it, and then I saw the guy, the person who's playing, uh, the actor who's playing Grinch, and that's Benedict Cumberbatch, and I thought to myself, wow, I think he would make a good Grinch, and yes, I think he do, you know, I, I feel like he should, you know, I think he should, you know, he has that, uh, sorry, I feel like he could show energy and uh, fun emotion and stuff. It's he, he could be a, you know a good Grinch. No one has gotten casted yet, but it's Illuminations doing it. It's I hope it's gonna be funny, and I I think it's my friend told me that this one's supposed to be like a like a, a, um, a baby Grinch or something. I don't really know little Grinch. I don't really know, but yeah, I'm interested to see it. Coming in at my number eighteen is Alita Battle Angel. I'm very I'm now this one looks really interesting because um you know I heard that what's his name James Cameron was supposed was supposed to direct this wanted to direct this film but now you know he's doing Avatar and stuff but he's producing it which is good and Robert Rodriguez I, this is his big return I guess. To back to movies. I really don't know what his last movie is. I don't pay attention to Robert Rodriguez films at all. But this is his like first like, sci-fi film actually. And it looks, you know, it looks good. Good cast. Um, the special effects look iffy. They're not, well, they're not bad. But they're just like very iffy. They're, they remind me too much of a video game. Like, I guess there's one part where like there's a robot hand coming out or something. It was just very iffy, but I really, I like the special effects. Well, no, um, I like the, you know, the CGI is pretty good. But, you know, I wish to, um, <laughs> but, never mind. So, but there's, like, a little hidden message in the film where it talks about, like, uh, a strong prey on the weak, that it's gonna, that it could lead to, like, Avatar, but it, I don't think it's in the Avatar universe. No, it's not, because it's in the 22nd, 26th century. But, like, you know, in, Ava in the Avatar, it's in, like, the 22nd century, which is interesting. So, coming in at number 17 is Teen Titans Go. When I first heard about this film, I was really excited, because this was going to be the first, it was going to be a live act, I thought it was going to be, like, a live action film. But then when I first saw the poster, I knew it was not going to be live action. Which you know, it, I wish there was gonna be. I wish there was a Teen Titans uh, Go um, live action movie. Well, they're making the show already, so yeah. But yeah, I'm ex I'm interested to see this film. I really love the shows and I, the show, and I really can't. I can't wait to see them on you know the big screen. It does come out the same day as Mission Impossible Six, but I'll, like probably I'll see it after Mission Impossible Six. But yeah, I really liked. Um, I'm really excited to see. Cyborg, I uh, heard Christian Wig is going to be playing. It's not going to be the same actors who are, who are playing, you know, in the 
TV rolls, it's gonna be like a fully, it's, it's gonna be like the same, it's in like gonna be, you know, it's the same cartoon characters in this film, the same animation as they use in the Cartoon Network, but just, you know, very different. But I'm excited, I'm very excited to see what they could do with an um, t uh, TV show film, brought to film, yeah. So coming in, man, number 16 is Halloween. Now, Halloween is a film I'm very excited for, not only because, um, Jamie Lee Curtis is in this film, yeah, but this is gonna be, it's not gonna be a direct sequel to, like, the other Halloween films, like, you know, Halloween 1 and 2, the, you know, the other Halloween films, like, that were 2007 rebooted, it's gonna be straight, um, directly in the other, um, Halloween universe, you know, the 70s one, and it's supposed to be, like, the finale of Halloween, it's supposed to be the last one, Jamie Lee Curtis is back in this film, which I haven't seen her in a long time, I'm like, you know, Danny McBride's, uh, Dura Ad is, uh, doing, like, I think he's producing the film, I don't really, I think he, well, pretty, uh, he's the producer of the film, I don't know who's the director, but this is supposed to be the last one, Universal has the rights to this film now, Dimension Films, well, I think Dimension Films has the rights, but I'm excited, you know, I love Halloween, I love the Halloween franchise, and I can't wait to see the finale of this film. So coming in at number 15 is Wreck-It Ralph 2. I love the, I love the original Wreck-It Ralph, it's one of my favorite animated films that came out, it was really fun, and it was, um, the best film, and I watched it, like, during, like, her, when the hurricane went, we had, like, no school during hurricane, I had, I watched Skyfall, and this, this was the two films I saw in the theater, this, um, uh, but yeah, this one, this sequel, it's gonna be, like, they're gonna go into, like, the, uh, internet world, like, there's gonna be, like, Google, Amazon, I mean, well, there's, there's, like, copy, rip-offs of, like, of the names of the internet, but there's gonna be like lots of Disney princesses. There's gonna be like the original from the, all the original films, like um, Fiona, the Little Mermaid, Cinderella, many more. It's amazing. Um, I can't wait to see Rekka Ralph. And I heard that um, the villain in the from the last film is gonna be in. I think he's gonna be in this film, which is very interesting. There was a little bit of a sneak peek of the film. I highly recommend watching. It's like it the guy recorded it and it was like they uh like Rick and Ralph entering the um into the the internet and yeah, um yeah, I'm very excited. I love the original and I can't wait for the sequel. Hope it's good, as good as the first film or even better. So coming in at number fourteen is Creed two. Um I really loved I really liked this the first Creed film it was a really good film, very good spin off actually. Um, explaining uh, a lot about his uh, Apollo Creed son into this film, which is very interesting. And yeah, um, well, Creed two, I'm very excited for because Dolph Lingerman is ba is coming back into this film. Uh, well, he he's supposed to be in this film. He's not gonna like fight or anything. He's just gonna his son is gonna fight, you know, and with alongside with uh, what's his name, um, Michael B. Jordan. He's gonna fight with them and stuff. But, yeah, I'm excited. I love, I can't wait to see Dolph Lindgren in this film. Uh, Sylvester Stallone is coming back, obviously. Sylvester Stallone is not going to direct this film. It's going to be another director, I forgot. But, yeah, yeah and also Ryan Cooper won't direct because, you know, obviously he's doing uh, Black Panther right now. But, yeah, I love, I'm very excited. I really love the first Creed, and I can't wait to see the, the sequel. So coming in at number thirteen is Pacific Rim Uprising. Now I really liked the first Pacific Rim. I really did. Gamero del Toro did a good job. I really liked you know the the robots, the CGI, the special effects are good. But yeah, I really liked the film and the sequel. Um, I'm very excited for because it it's gonna be like, it's not it's not like it's a direct sequel, but it like takes place after the events of like. Well, it doesn't take place after the event. It takes place, like, ten years after, um, the first Pacific Rim, which means that it's in, like, the year 2023, which means futuristic stuff. 
But yeah, I can't wait. New robots. I love the second trailer. Um, John, I really like John Boyega. I really am gonna like this film. I really, um, new cast of characters. I really, it, I'm just, I'm just excited. Um, I love the first Pacific Rim, and I can't wait to see it. This one, um, new robots. It's supposed to be, like, this one's supposed to be, like, fun. Like, new, like, like, goo, like, cartoony robots in this one, which is interesting, and I'm very excited to see this. So, in a number 12 is Fantastic Beast and Where to Find Him. Or the crime, well, not Where to Find Him. The Crimes of Grinwald. Now, probably, people probably don't know or people know. I am not a fan of Harry, well, I am not a fan of Harry Potter. Um, I was never a fan of Harry Potter. Uh, I, when the first Fantastic Beast came out, I didn't see it. But, for a fact, Guys, I want to get into this, you know, I want to get into this fran uh, this trilogy. That's what's supposed to be. The Fantastic Beast films are going to be a trilogy, prequels. But, yeah, I want to get into it and explore more. My friend says I don't have to watch all the other Harry Potter films to see this, which is great. But, yeah, I'm, I want to get in, I want to watch the, I'm going to watch the first uh, film in the series to get the idea of what the, it's going to happen in the sequel. So yeah, I'm excited. I wanna wa I'm gonna probably watch the first film. I don't know, maybe right now or maybe on the weekends. I don't know yet, but yeah, I'm very excited to see this. But Dumbledore is gonna be in this film, which is great, and the uh, all the other cat that uh, cast of characters are coming back into this film. Coming in at number eleven is Mission Impossible Six. I. I'm very excited for this film. I love Mission Impossible 5. It's probably one of my favorite out of the franchise. But this is uh, hopefully the last film because I don't want Tom Cruise to get hurt. You know, like he's doing st lots of, you know, he's doing these stunts. And he's, gonna, he's getting hurt every time. Like, well, not, he didn't not, he never got hurt. But, like, recently he got hurt while like, he was on the rooftop and he, like, tried to jump. And then he hurt his, like, I guess his bone. And, like, you know, he knew, like, possibly... He had to stop. They had to stop this, you know. And I want them to stop, you know, all this type of, like, gang hurt and stuff. I really hope this is going to be the end of the, the film, end of this, you know, franchise. I really want this to be the end. Henry Cavill, the mustache man. Yep, that's what I'm calling him, the mustache man. Um, is in this, which they should have, they should have not. I don't care. You know, I don't care. I really don't care. It, they should have never, like... They should have never. They should have never CGI the must. Well, yeah, they should. Yeah. They should have like put like a wig on him. Like they should not. He should have never gotten like a mustache in the beginning. But yeah, um, uh, Tom Cruise's wife is returning in this film, well, in the movie, and other new characters are returning as well, which I'm very excited for. But yeah, number eleven, uh, Mission Impossible Six. Well, I don't say that a lot, but here, for my stuff.